Many task management apps are designed only for your personal tasks. At the same time, most collaborative apps cater towards enterprise users. Todoist wants to help you bridge this gap. And to do this, they created a new feature called Team Workspaces. Team Workspaces let you neatly separate your personal and your work tasks, but keep them in the same interface without having to use separate accounts. Their idea is to keep things simple yet powerful. And I think they've done that very well with this new feature. But first, real quick, before we continue, this video is sponsored by Todoist itself. Todoist has been developing very rapidly lately and Team Workspaces is a really substantial new feature. It's going to make integrated planning of your personal tasks and your work tasks fantastic. Anyone with a Todoist account can create a team workspace for free with limits on the number of team projects that you can create. To get the full experience, you can upgrade to the Todoist business plan for $6 per month per member. If you ask me, that's a great price for small teams that don't need all the bells and whistles of a super complicated app who just want to quickly and efficiently start organizing their to-dos and projects together. So many thanks to Todoist for sponsoring this video. Now let me show you Team Workspaces. You've always been able to share a Todoist project with others. For example, here I have a personal Todoist project to prepare for a conference. I can click the share button at the top and I can simply invite someone by email or name, such as, for example, Emily. If I click invite, she'll get added to this particular project. After you wait a second, the pending will go away and now she's part of this project and I can click a task such as coordinating logistics with the venue and I can click the person icon right here and assign this to Emily and I can assign other tasks to myself. Sharing a personal project is great for one-off collaboration, but Team Workspaces is different. It's designed specifically for teams that have ongoing collaboration. It allows you to know who's doing what, when, it allows you to know exactly whose responsibilities are what and which deadlines everybody has. And it allows you to share work easily and to communicate about that work. When you add a team workspace to Todoist, you're gonna to see some new sections in your sidebar. Now my projects are listed under a heading called my projects and I can collapse that. And below that, I'll see my team workspace, which in my case is called Peter Ucky's Consulting, which I can open and I can see folders and projects in there. But the nice thing is that while you're keeping your personal and your team tasks totally separate, you can do integrated planning of your days in views such as today and upcoming. So for example, here under today, I've got personal tasks like home tasks and preparing for a trip, as well as work tasks like proofing the first draft of a report or posting a job ad for the HR position. What's really convenient here is that I don't need to have separate Todoist accounts for my personal and work tasks. Let me show you how team workspaces are organized. I will click on the name of my team workspace over here, and that brings me to the overview page. So I've called it Peter Aki's Consulting. I used to work as a corporate consultant and we would have lots of client projects in various industries. So I've used that as an example for the business or the team that I'm working with right here. So I've set up folders for the different types of projects that we might have going on, such as admin projects, dealing with payroll, business development, which includes perhaps client relations and hiring, client projects, how we make money in this hypothetical example, and perhaps some company culture projects like group fitness and party planning. I can filter this particular view by active projects or archive projects. So if I go to archive projects, I can see that we have a scouting for new locations project that we have archived because we have completed it. And I can go back to active projects. I can filter by projects I've joined or haven't joined. So if I click on joined, you'll see this list of projects. But if I click on projects I haven't joined, you'll see that I'm not part of the party planning project right here. Now you'll see that these folders also live in the sidebar where I can expand them and collapse them and see all of my projects. If you have a project and you want to invite someone to it, it's very easy. You just go to the project right here, for example, this InsureCo investment strategy project, and you click the share button. Now you can share the project in a few ways. You can invite someone by their name or their email, or you can just copy the link. So you could copy this link and then send it in an email or a Microsoft Teams or Slack message to your coworker. And then that coworker, your team member, can join this particular workspace and this particular project. So how does a team workspace work mechanically? Everyone on your team can see projects, create projects, and join projects. Now, if you want to manage your team members, you just go to your to-do settings, 
and you find your team workspace and then you go to people and you'll see a list of people on your team right here. You can invite them by email or with this particular invitation link. And you'll see here that you can also have external collaborators who are guests. So people can be guests, members, or admins. Admins can set responsibilities and privileges for other people and guests can join projects on a one-off basis. Now, you can also make projects private projects. For example, here uh, we have the hiring project. Let's say we have a hiring subcommittee in the firm. I have made that a private project we, which you can show or see with the padlock icon. If I actually click on the ellipses over here and go over to edit, you can say the access for this project is restricted. That's what it's officially called. And that means that other people on my team cannot see this project. Let me view this workspace from the perspective of my coworker, Emily. Under business development, she does not see the hiring project because it is a private restricted project. At the same time, she is part of this project called Big Co Market Manipulation, which is also a private project, which if I minimize this screen, I cannot see. So how do you work together within a team project? This is where Todoist really shines because it is super easy to use, but has just enough organizational features to keep all of your to-dos and projects neat and tidy. Here in this telco merger project that I have, I can find a task like, for example, we're running an assumption sensitivity analysis. I need to make a list of sensitivities to run. That is a task for me. So I can go ahead and assign that to me. And then I can say, well, you know what? I want Emily to create the spreadsheet with the analysis. So I just click assign a person and assign that to Emily. Now I can also use natural language in Todoist. And of course I can use all of the regular features that exist in Todoist like subtasks and sections. So here let's create another subtask and I'll call it proof analysis. So I can use natural language. So just use the plus sign and start typing me and then hit tab and that auto completes and this task gets assigned to me. I can also assign dates. So you'll see that this particular subtask to make a list of sensitivities to run is listed under today. And so then if I go to my today view, make list of sensitivities to run is listed underneath here. And I can do all of the usual things with these tasks. Like for example, set a priority level of priority level two. And so in the same way, if I assign a today date, to this task that's assigned to Emily, that's going to show up in the today view of Todoist for Emily so that she knows when she needs to have this done by. But I know it too. That's the beauty of collaborating with team workspaces. Here's another example. Maybe I want to send the client a progress update every Friday. Todoist recognizes the natural language, turns this into a recurring task. I will add this task and I will assign it to myself and now this task will show up under my upcoming view every single Friday so that I get reminded and so that I know to do it on time. Now, of course, just like with the personal version of Todoist, I can add notes or a description to the task and I can add comments to tasks. And this is a great way to communicate with the other people on your team about the work. So for example, I can say, hey, at Emily, and I can mention someone with the at symbol. Um, can you please use the template spreadsheet? And then what I can do is I can attach a template spreadsheet file and I can hit comment. I can also choose who to notify. In this case, it's just Emily and me on this project, but I could choose just to notify her, her and not some of the other people so that not everybody gets a notification about this. So I can click comment right here. And then if I go over to Emily's Todoist, she is gonna get a notification under the notification bell, which can also become a push notification on your phone or an email. And it's gonna say that, hey, I asked her to use this template spreadsheet. She can go in there and she can give that a nice reaction, a nice heart sign or whatever signaling to me that she knows about this. So this is a great way to communicate with people about the work that you're doing. And what I like is that a lot of the other features that Todoist has added over the years to organize your personal projects are also available in team workspaces, like using sections to break down your tasks inside a project and using different views. So if you click this button right here, I can turn this into a board view and each board will become a section for like a Kanban board style, as well as a calendar, which is becoming more and more powerful in Todoist all the time now, the calendar view. So here's how I recommend that you set up Todoist to manage both your personal and your team tasks. Let's take a look at the today view. What is this showing? It's showing us all tasks that have a due date of today that are either part of my projects or that are part of the 
team workspace and that have been assigned to me. So tasks that are part of the team workspace that are due today, but not assigned to me, are not gonna show up in here. This today view, if I click the settings over here, I can actually group this by workspace. So now I can see my own tasks that are due today at the top and my work tasks that are due today at the bottom. I can also turn off the grouping and I can actually filter by workspace. So I can say, I don't wanna see my own projects. And now I only see my work tasks. So let's reset that. And I'm looking at all tasks again. Now I recommend that you set up some filters as well. If we go to filters and labels, I recommend that you set up an anytime personal and an anytime work filter. What I want to do is create a list of tasks that might make sense for me to work on today, personal tasks. And then I wanna create a new list that shows all the tasks that might make sense for me to work on today, their work tasks, part of my team workspace. Let's edit this filter. You might have to click the plus sign and create a new filter. So my anytime personal filter, I'm gonna say the task has to be due today or not have a date assigned, shouldn't be a subtask, it shouldn't be part of a someday section, shouldn't be a template, and it should be in the workspace, my projects. Now, with that set up, I can click on this filter and I can see all of my tasks that I might wanna work on today. I can scroll through this list and assign some of them to today and start building my to-do list for today that way for a really intentional, well-planned day. But of course, I'm not done because I wanna do this for work as well. So I'll create this anytime work filter. Here's the settings for that. Again, I wanna see all tasks either due today or that don't have a date. They're not a subtask. They're not part of a someday section. They're not a template. And they're part of the Peter Aki's Consulting workspace. And they are not assigned to others. So that they are tasks that are either already assigned to me or they haven't been assigned to anybody. So that's the list of tasks I wanna see. I can click that and now I see all of those tasks and then I can assign some of them to today and build my to-do list for today that way. It's a really great way to do integrated planning of personal and work tasks. You can also create some other cool filters, for example, tasks assigned to me and due in the next week, which you just write a query that says assigned to me and seven days. Todoist now also has an AI feature where you can tell the AI what you want to see and it will create the query for you, which is really convenient. What else would I like to see in team workspaces? As an Apple device user, I really love Apple's focus modes. That's over here on my Mac when I click this button and I can set my Mac to do not disturb or to work or to family time. What would be great is if I set the focus mode to work, Todoist automatically applied that filter that I showed you in the today view where it only shows my work tasks. So I hope that that's something that they work on for the future. And Todoist really is developing very quickly and I really also like how well the Todoist team communicates. For example, Amir, the Todoist CEO and founder, often shares sneak peeks of upcoming features on social media. And the Todoist team also shares a lot of the work that they've been doing on their YouTube channel. Overall, I'm really glad that the Todoist team has added the Team Workspaces feature. I know that the Doist company makes a significant portion of its revenue from business users. So creating these new business features will get them new business users, more revenue, and they can use that extra revenue to improve Todoist for everybody, including for solo users like myself without complicating the interface any further. Todoist team workspaces are available for everyone right now. You can create a free team with a limited number of projects, or you can upgrade to the Todoist business plan for the full experience. A nice perk of going to the Todoist business plan is that anyone who is a member of your team automatically gets the pro version of Todoist for free, and that also works for their personal projects. It's a really nice perk, and it unlocks things like the calendar view, task durations, and task reminders. Thanks again to the Todoist team for sponsoring this video. Go ahead and sign up for the Todoist business plan with the link in the description below the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Ciao.